Welcome to part 3 on conic sections. In this video, we're going to look at some more examples with parabolas. In example 2, we need to find the equation of the parabola with vertex at the origin and directrix x equals 4. And then we need to sketch the graph. I'm going to actually sketch the graph first because I think it will help me, well, sketch as much of the graph as I can first because I think it will help me figure out what the equation should be. Since I know that the directrix is x equals 4, that means I have a vertical line at positive 4. So here is this vertical line at x equals 4. I also have a vertex at the origin, and I know that the focus is always opposite the directrix, which means my focus will be at negative 4. This is my focus, this is my vertex, and the blue vertical line here is my directrix. The parabola always curves away from the directrix. I know that this parabola has to do something like that. Now it's just a matter of finding the exact equation. The focal diameter is equal to 4 p in absolute values, and I also know that p is the distance between the focus and the vertex and also between the vertex and the directrix, which is 4. That means that the focal diameter is 16. If I want to count how far vertically that will move, I will break this up into 8 to the right, right of the focus or vertically away from the focus. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. So there's one edge of my parabola. And same in the other direction. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. And now I can draw my parabola. It looks something like this. Since it's opening to the side, it will be a y squared. Since my focus is at negative 4, 0, p is equal to negative 4. Now, since it's an absolute value for the focal diameter, it's not a huge deal here, but it does matter when you're writing the equation for this parabola. You're going to have 4px, and we know that p in our case is negative 4. That gives me y squared is equal to 4 times negative 4, times x, so y squared is equal to negative 16x. And that is the equation of the parabola. In this next example, we need to find the focus, directrix, and focal diameter of x squared plus 6y equals 0, and sketch the graph. We can also use a graphing calculator to check the graph. I'm going to first Isolate the x squared. This now has the form of the equation for a parabola is x squared equals 4py, or if it's opening sideways, y squared equals 4px. Now, this is if you have a parabola opening sideways, 
and x squared equals 4, py is opening upwards or downwards. Since I know that the parabola is going to be of the form opening upwards or downwards, we're going to use the first equation, x squared equals 4py. And now we just need to fill in the blanks. Notice that we have negative 6 replacing the 4p. And because of that, I can do a substitution where I can say, oh, well, if I know negative 6 is in place of the 4p, I can set them equal to each other. This is just tricky math. At this point, I can divide by 4 on both sides, and that gives me what p equals. p equals negative 3 halves. This is convenient because if I know p, then I know that the focus is going to be at 0, negative 3 halves, which means the directrix is going to be at 0, positive 3 halves, because we're going in the other direction away from the vertex. I'm going to sketch the directrix. I'm going to let every other notch be one unit in length in both the x and the y direction. That means my directrix will be at 3 halves. Focus will be at negative 3 halves, and my vertex will be at 0, 0. Now I need to find my focal diameter, which is 4 times p. 4 times negative 3 halves is equal to, oh, and, and it's in absolute values as well, which gives me 6. And now that I have the focal diameter, I just break this into two parts, 3 to the left and 3 to the right of the focus. And now I just make my parabola have that general shape. Now let's take a look at this last one. Find the focus, directrix, and focal diameter of y squared equals 3x. Sketch the graph. Use, graphing, use the graphing calculator to check your graph. Well, we have y squared here equals 3x. This means I have the form y squared equals 4px. If I compare the generic form of a parabola with the one given in this particular example, I can see that 4p is taking the place of 3. And so I'm going to use that information to solve for p. If I know that 3 is replacing 4p, I can set them equal to each other and solve for p. This gives me p is equal to 3 fourths. The focal point is at 3 fourths 0. The focal diameter is at the absolute value of 4 times 3 fourths, which is just 3. And now I need to figure out how to graph this. I'm going to first find the focus or focal point at 3 fourths, which will give me something right about here. 3 fourths is 3 quarters, so I'll put the focus there. And the focal diameter is 3. And the vertex is at 0, 0, 
which means the directrix has to be on the other side, which will be a negative 3 fourths. And now I can fill in the remaining por portion. If I go 1, 2, 3, so my focal diameter is at 3, which means I have to go 1 and a half up from the focus and one and a half down from the focus. And then I just connect the dots. Now for these you have to be mindful of your scale or it won't work out very well. But in this case I scaled it for every unit given that was a half and so every two units is two marks is one unit.